Michael, many congratulations. Another great performance here at the World Championships. You must be delighted with two back-to-back -back performances like that. I was until I started giving the game back. Fair enough, I thought I was playing really well. Finish was going in, scoring was going in at the right times. And I know if I watch it back, you can see I took my foot off the pedal, even though in the game I never felt I did. But uh, that double five, <laughs> that was my friend today to win the first set and then obviously to win the match. Yeah, just relieved to get over the line. When you dropped the fifth set, did you panic a little bit that maybe you were letting him back in? No, no, no I just always knew the sixth, sixth set was mad art. It can go two all as long as I kick off well. Uh, that's all I was thinking about. You can win one, two legs as long as you've got the darts and that last leg to win the set. That's all that I was thinking about in that match then. Looking at the tournament, you, you're the one that set the bar more than any other player. You must feel on cloud nine right now. And do you feel something special is close? No, oh, I'm not setting no bar. I'm not doing nothing. I'm just playing the game. I'll leave all the bar settings to Michael and Gezi and Peter. They can do all the things they want to do. I'm just here to play darts like, like Johnny does here. Probably 80% I'm going to play the next game. And I was on a bike today. So my dad, Johnny, is proper a model professional. He's won four tournaments this year. He's, he, he wouldn't tell you he's won four. He's just so quiet, relaxed, gets on with his game. That's how I want to be. I don't want me telling people things what I've done. I just like people watching and seeing from afar that what I'm doing. And going into this tournament, that's what I've been trying to tell myself what to do. Just let other people talk from it. This little section of the drawing board, if you were to come through it, it's one of the hardest sections ever in a World Championship, wouldn't it, to get to a final? Um, I don't know, you're telling me it is. I just want to keep playing and it's, it's the same if you go back to like the Grand Slam or somewhere. Every year I get the group of death and I always come through the group of death. I've topped my group for the last five years and it's the same here. I'm not bothered who I play. As long as I'm playing, that's the main issue. I could be sat at home watching the guys playing, but I'm not. I'm here competing and I'm here playing. The news obviously broke today that Vincent's been brought back because of COVID. Is there a fear among the players that this World Championship could be decided by COVID-19? Well, uh, that's not a darts question, is it? So, next one, please. <laughs> um, just going back, back to the tournament, obviously. You got to a final. Do you feel your game is in a better position now than what it was when you made that final? Um, if I get to the final again, I'll let, I will do this interview again. I just want to be there and I want to, can I put things right? I just want to get there and get another crack at it. And I know I've got another 20 World Championships to do it, but I don't want to leave it till the 20th one. I want this year, next year, year after. <laughs> it's just getting there. As long as I'm getting there and I'm doing my own game, my own things, who knows what could happen. So just get on with things. You're welcome. Cheers, lad. Thank you.